So yeah, I messed up. I messed up big time. Have you ever just had a massive brain fart every once in a while where you're like, you just can't believe how dumb you were doing something? Well, today I'm going to show you how dumb I really was. And not only am I going to be unboxing a few things today, um, I've actually got four different items to unbox here live on the channel. I've got uh, some statues and I also have some original art that I'm going to share with you that I just picked up as well. And so a little story time with the BSC today for sure. You guys know I have been collecting the black and white statues. I'm not going to get a ton of them, but there are a few that definitely speak to me. I'm putting them on my bookshelf. That's where my original art is. And then you come into the room, it's got black and white original art. So I'm going to unbox this and show you guys what I have here, right? So uh, one of the pieces that I have been very interested in um, that I've been looking for is this one right here. This one is the Batman black and white. It is from DC Direct. It is uh, not the McFarlane ones, which is good. So uh, let me get this box out of the way. So anyway, you can probably tell which one it is. But this is the um, the, the uh, black black and white Mike Mignola piece, and uh, this is the second in the series. Um, obviously, this is a really cool statue. I really like this one. I can't wait to see it uh, in person. It's of course you know Gotham by Gaslight um, that that motif basically, uh, which is really great. Um, I love it. Uh, Stands approximately seven and a half inches tall. Again, these are not very big, but uh, I thought maybe I would go ahead and unbox it with you guys. So, um, well, actually, before I do that, I want to unbox the other one, okay? So here it is, Mike Mignola, black and white, right? Okay, this is why I'm so dumb, okay? Here is box number two. I got the other one. So I've been in Florida. I just got back home, and I'm like, yes, I got two boxes, but what is this one? I don't even remember. I don't even remember what this is. Like, what is this thing, okay? So I opened up the box, right? And inside of the box is another black and white statue. I freaking bought it twice. I had bought it on eBay right before I went to Florida. While I was in Florida, I bought another one because I didn't think I'd actually bought this one yet for some reason. I don't remember actually making the purchase. So that's right. Yeah, I've got two freaking one of these. <laughs> so I'm going to be selling this one if anybody is interested, or maybe it's going to be this one. Which one will it be? I don't know. Maybe it'll be, <laughs> it'll be one of these. But anyway, I'm going to be selling one of these. Um, if anybody's interested, email me at thebatmanstatuecollector at gmail.com. I'm doing this one for uh, $60 shipped. Uh, so that's basically it's what I paid, $60 shipped. So if anybody's interested in it, uh, again, have one. Um, and I'll even throw a Batman Statue Collector sticker in it too. So if you want one of those, uh, please hit me up. So anyway, I'm going to unbox one of these. Not going to need two of them, but uh, I'm going to quit and box this with you guys. I thought you'd get a kick out of that story. So anyway, yeah, there's the box. Again, there's the statue. Um, let's go ahead and rip into this thing. Again, I'm very excited because um, I have not seen this one in person yet at all. Um, but I am excited to, uh, to tear into it. I've got my trusty bat knife right here. If you're a statue collector, art collector, you need to have a good knife with you at all times. And I do. And so we'll rip into the styrofoam here and see what we got. So we got a DC Direct here. And uh, this one's really cool. Uh, it's got the little, little cover to keep it protected. So that's nice. Getting the black and white right there. And the back right there. So it says, um, no, actually this one is um, a McFarlane. I thought this one was from DC Direct. Uh, the box said DC Direct, right? Yeah, it is, but it's DC Direct with McFarlane. Okay, so there you go. And let's check out the quality. All right. Let's rip into the bag here. He's cool. Yeah, I mean, I just don't feel like they're quite as heavy, but he, he looks great, actually. Yeah, he looks awesome. Look at that. That is really cool. Get, get him out of that light there. Isn't he, isn't he cool? I just love how stylized he looks. 
Yeah, that's a cool statue. That's really cool. Yeah, I'm glad I picked him up. Love that style with the collar. It's a cool Batman, right? <laughs> so anyway, that's my crazy story about <laughs> buying two of the same statues. And so now without further ado, let's get to <laughs> let's get to the next unboxing. All right, so we have the piece of art that I'm going to be unboxing next. And again, as you guys know, I've been doing um, a lot of original art pieces. Um, and this one I happen to have seen um, on a, a buy sell trade group um, where it's kind of like they, it's called like deal or no deal, which I thought was really cool. And um, basically, you just you name your price. You might say 50 bucks, and they're going to say, well, no deal. Um, but it's a cool, cool site, I thought. And uh, so I bid and the person accepted. I was a little bit nervous because I hadn't really ever used that service before um, or that website, um, Facebook, whatever it is. Um, but anyway, I thought, yeah, I thought, why not? So I got it in today and I did a really nice job of taping this all up. But um, I, I have never uh, had a piece from this artist. Um, I have met him before, um, but I have never um, actually uh, purchased original art from him or got original art from him. Uh, I had thought about maybe trying to commission something from him at some point, but I liked this um, picture enough that I thought, well, why not? I'll just go ahead and get this one because I thought this was really awesome. Um, spoiler, it's going to be either Batman or Joker. Can you guess which one it's going to be? I bet you can. Uh, very well taped. <laughs> wow. I thought this was going to be like a 30 second unboxing, but it's going to be 15 minutes. Who knew? So yeah. So yeah. So bear with me guys. It's nice when it's packaged well. It's like a live unboxing, but not live, right? Now we got art board. Okay, now that was really, look at this thing. Really well taped, which is great. You can see the little plastic sleeve. All right, so this is awesome. Tape the top. Wow, this is really cool art. Uh, it looks even better in person. But uh, yeah, this is an original Jay Lee. Like I said, let me uh, get it out of the sleeve. And uh, wow, yeah, it's really great. Yeah, this is an original Jay Lee Joker, which is just, again, you guys know how much I love the Joker. He's got the ha ha ha's on it. Um, he's got signed in Jay Lee. Jay Lee does two different signatures. Um, so this is one of his, uh, you know, pieces like that. I also really like his mouth. It kind of looks like a bat which I love, but again, just very cool Joker. Definitely Jay Lee in his style. Um, but uh, yeah, this, this commission was really cool. So yeah, again, I had to add this one to the collection. I can't wait to get it framed up. Of course, I've got my mats and stuff over here. I might have to do a little bit bigger mat because uh, as you can see, it does cover up some of the ha-has, but I don't know, we'll see, maybe let me, uh, let me kind of just move some of this around just to see if maybe if I play around with it. But I don't know. We'll see. I might might do something like that. Or I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should get a bigger mat so you can see a little bit more of the ha-ha-has? I don't know. What do you guys think? All right. So that's one thing. Let's go on to the next. All right, so next up is a box from our good friend Dan DeFall at Wayne Manor Rocket City. Uh, if you watched Rogues Gallery Live, you might know what's in this uh, because on the live auction show, I actually was the first bid. I bid it. I said, hey, I want it. Uh, Dan was selling a few pieces, and I thought, why not? Uh, why not? Uh, again, I have been doing um, the black and white art. I've been doing the black and white um, uh, statues. And so he was selling this piece, and I thought, yep, I need to add this to the collection. Uh, I, even though I haven't really added any of this particular character to the collection in terms of the black and white stuff. So we'll see how it goes. But, yeah, let's go ahead and rip into this again. 
Dan is such a good friend, and it's great to have a piece that was in his collection as well. So, yeah. Right into it. So, yeah, here we go. I got the Sean Murphy Joker, which is really great. Obviously, uh, again, part of the black and white line. Uh, let's go ahead and just open him up. Let's see what he looks like inside. I don't know if I'm going to review him or not. We'll see. But uh, Dan did tape it back up. So we'll go ahead and undo that real quick here and show you what he looks like inside. And this is part of the DC Direct. It's not part of the McFarland, uh, as you can see right there, which is good because the McFarland ones are cool, but they're a little bit less quality, I would say. So um, I never did get the Sean Murphy Joker from XM. And so I think this is going to be a nice substitute for that, for sure. But uh, here he is right here. Let me just put him on his little key. Yeah, he's fun. So he's right there. Okay, he's got the Switchblade. He's got the Joker doll, or the Batman doll. So yeah, he just he's just so cool. Um, and again, it's something I don't know for sure if I'm going to do a lot of Jokers or not because the interior is Batman and Joker with the art. And so we'll see. But again, how fun is that? Sean Murphy, you got the Joker, you got the Batman doll again, the Switchblade. Looks fantastic. But again, I just want to give a shout out to Dan. Always very cool. Except Dan, I didn't get my drawing. Where's my drawing? You always send such amazing drawings to everybody. Actually, Dan's already done that for me in the past. So don't worry about it, bud. Uh, this is really cool. And again, it's just an honor to have something that's been in Wayne Manor, um, Rocket City. I about said Wayne Manor North. Wayne Manor, Rocket City. Sean Murphy. Again, really fun, right? That's awesome. So another black and white added to the collection. So again, there you guys have it. There was a little story time with the BSC. Again, some great black and white art, some great originals here, which is really exciting. So uh, again, um, I might review some of these. If you want, let me know in the comments down below. Um, and again, it's just awesome to get some new stuff in every once in a while and uh, open up these amazing boxes. And uh, again, thank you guys for uh, checking it out, being on the journey with me. I really appreciate it. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.